Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and I wish you all a wonderful 2018 and today I thought after doing the pattern and the sewing of a shawl collar I'm going to show you how to grade it. So as usual when you want to do the grading of a pattern piece and you want to keep the original size as it is I suggest you trace it on another piece of paper or cardboard. Now both of my pieces are traced. I'm going to use my tool fully grading ruler to grade it up two size and for the one who are working in inches uh, I I provide the chart so you could pick your measurement that you need. I provide it in inches but after you have your collar selected it is the same thing for both centimeter or inches. This time I will start at the bottom at the waist and I said that I'm going to do two size bigger so I, I put my basic size that is the black one right on the drawing that I just did and I'm going to point two size bigger and just with the hole make the little hole. Now in that case I do have the waist dart so I'm going to do the same thing twice using the grading of the dart at the waist. Place it right at the point with the black one and keep your tool parallel to the grain line of the bodice. Point out the size that you want so two size bigger and I repeat. Now for the side seam, I'm going to use the side seam point here again, put the black one right on the drawing, pivot until your grain line is parallel to one of the line on the ruler and point out the size that you want. I continue now with the underarm point, right on, parallel, see you could easily pivot and point out the size that you need. Now before continuing I'm going to ask you to take the bodice and indicate on the block and on the paper a point just a little higher than the notch. That's for the shoulder blade grading. It's to control the curve of your arm hole. It's an extra point just to control the curve. You're going to place your shoulder blade point on the reference again parallel with the grain line and point out your size. We continue. I'm going to elongate the grain line and trace the shoulder and armhole point by putting the black dot on the trace line, keeping my block parallel with the grain line and point out two sides bigger. Now this one has all, also the shoulder dart, so I'm going to use the shoulder dart point twice on both sides of the dart. One last point, it's the shoulder and neck point. For the shawl collar, we had a V, so I'm just going to ask you to put it back to the original corner. So I just retrace or fill up the triangle. To get my corner and I'm going to put my grading for the neck point. Now for you to see a little better I did the, the red dot for the two size bigger and we're just going to connect the dot to get the contour of the new size. So I'm putting my, my first point waist and center front and I'm going to trace for a little while. Then what you're going to do, you're going to place the two notch of the dart on the two reference point and you're going to trace from where you, you stop the notch, the jug and the other notch and trace for a little while. Put the corner on the next point and finish your line. You can now do the side seam, so from underarm point until the last point at the waist and I always do a little bit the corner. I'm now going to do the armhole but from the top to the bottom. So 
shoulder and arm will point until the shoulder blade area and you continue for a little while. Stop before the notch. Then you're going to place your block halfway from both reference points. So I mean from the shoulder, shoulder blade area, shoulder blade, and over here under arm. So pretty much the same amount on both sides and you could continue the arm all for a little while, maybe half the curve or one third of the curve. Then you just move your block and continue tracing until the underarm point. For the shoulder area, you could place the block back on and trace until the notch. Then you move it and place both notch onto your reference point and trace the notch. Last thing to do is to complete your shoulder. So you could trace with the ruler. It's easier because you don't have an empty corner. So we did grade all the contour, but we still have to grade the pivot of the dart. So I'm going to put my pivot right on my pivot grading point, and I'm going to place my grain line parallel to the grain line and I'm going to point out the pivot for my new dart. So I could retrace my dart. Now here's the tricky area for the shawl collar. This part here belongs to the back, so it does need a separate grading. And what you're going to do, from the new point, the new neck and shoulder point, you're going to replace your bodice right on, keeping your center front parallel and from that new point you're going to trace the back part of the collar. So just trace this part of your collar. So right now we did grade the front but the back the, didn't get anything. So usually because of the movement of the neck, the neck area grade about 3 mm or 1 8 per size. And what I did is on my ruler, I had an, an extra grading to the underarm point because that's moving 0.3 per size. So you could say that this grading here could be used for the back collar part. Remember to place the big size to go outside, not inside. And in that case, I'm going to put my black dot on the corner of the red line because this is still the front grading and I'm going to keep it straight and point out two sizes bigger. I'm going to do that twice because I have to grade both sides exactly the same way so just remember to place it on the new line. Now you could just connect the two new dots and your back collar part will be graded also. So I trace my line and I just connect with the already traced line. So that's only for the back neck grading. Now we're ready to do the facing. For the facing, it's going to be much faster. So you're going to use the same center front waist point grading. So just to place it on the black dot and use the same gray for me, two sides bigger, on both sides of the facing. We'll move at the shoulder, so we have two points to grade again, so we'll use the neck and shoulder point to replace it on the neck and shoulder point. Hold it and put your grain line parallel by pivoting the ruler and point out the two size bigger that we need. And we do that one more time at the other point, but using exactly the same grading, this one, parallel. Just like we did for the bodice, this part you could trace using your ruler. And of course, just elongate your facing a little bit. Now, from that point, use your pattern and retrace the back of the collar area, keeping your facing pattern 
parallel to the, the new tracing and you're going to retrace the red area. Now the color, the, the back part moved but it didn't grade yet. So you're going to use again the underarm point with the extra grading and put the big size to go outside. You align your point and point out two size bigger. Same thing on the other side. Now when your two points are done, you're going to connect them with the ruler and complete your line, just what's missing. Et voilà, you completed your grading of a shawl collar. That's it for today. I hope this video will be helpful and I see you next time. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.